in this example, I've colored the center bolt red, that one green. Uh, the green one is part of the pattern, and I've added a nut to one of the other pattern members. We'll replace it with this assembly that is containing that same component. So if we replace that red component by an assembly containing the same one, you'll see that the system automatically reassigns that red color to the correct component. And replacing the pattern numbers, the nut is still assembled to the correct bolt on this side, and that bolt is still green. And if we actually look, we see that all the components are replaced, and the nut, if we redefine it, we'll see that it's referencing the correct geometry, but now deeper in the structure, as expected. Let's create a geodesic curve on surface starting from a point with a given direction. Let's pick a vertex on this quilt, select the whole quilt as the domain, and choose a direction reference. Let's start with this datum plane. I can control the angle with the dragger or from the dialog. Same with the length, I can change the length like that, or I can go up to a reference, let's say this edge, or maybe the complete domain up to the edge of the quilt. I can then also say, select to have another piece of the curve created in the other direction, in a similar manner by length, reference, or domain, like this. And instead of a datum plane, I can select an axis or an edge, and I can say I want to have this curve actually start at the angle of the end of that curve. So putting this at zero, it will start tangent to the end of the selected edge or curve. Number of selected points with low impact on the curve shape. In this example, a style curve was created through reconstruction and resulted in a curve containing a high number of control points. To simplify the curve, you can select the first desired point, holding the shift key, and then choose the last point. The highlighted points will be what you'll simplify. Once selected, either through the curve edit ribbon or the right mouse button, you can start to simplify the curve. Each click of the simplify tool reduces the number of points by a third until you achieve the desired results. Curry will try to preserve the general shape of the curve to keep the desired intent, but as the number of points are reduced, the curve might change slightly. As stated, the curve was created through the reconstruction process, but the simplify tool will also work on any types of curves, regardless of being free, planar, or curve on surface. Each simplify operation is captured in the undo-redo stack, and you can easily go back to a prior state if needed. Previously, it was not easy to simplify the curves that contain many control points while preserving the desired shape. You needed to select the various points and manually delete them, and move the remaining points to maintain the curve shape. Now with this enhancement, you can easily simplify a complex curve, allowing you to make the desired modifications more easily. As shown in this example, this enhancement is particularly important when you're trying to modify curve. The project and offset tools in the sketch environment are modernized in Creoparametric 9.0. Both present themselves with a modernized tool UI, modernized workflows, and modernized reference handling. When invoking the project tool, you see the new tool user interface with the chain collector activated, allowing you to select edges in the 3D model and project them into the sketch. In Creo 9, you now have the same chain selection methods available as for 3D operations in the part modeling environment. Hold the control key to pick individual edges to create a one-by-one -one selection. You can also hold the shift key and press the right mouse button to toggle through available chain selection options, such as tension selection, partial surface loop from two selections in both directions, and the closed surface loop option. The chain selection is confirmed when you press the left mouse button, the middle mouse button completes the tool. Using these mouse and keyboard interactions, you can now define chain references using the same keyboard shortcuts and workflows as in 3D. The following example shows a similar workflow referencing four circular loops as input to the offset tool. Press the apply repeat button to apply the current selection, leave the UI open, and continue with another reference chain selection. Users that prefer the detailed chain collection UI can also invoke that and define the chain rules, options, and references there. The resulting entity is a composite 2D curve that can easily be selected entirely. For example, for a delete operation as illustrated here. The modernized references handling is shown in the references dialog. It lists each collected chain as a single entry. When you select an entry, the composite curve representing the chain is highlighted in the graphics area. Replacing such a chain reference invokes the chain selection user interface again so that the replacement chain can be selected very quickly. The modernized reference handling and definition of the chain references is also visible in the related sketch-based feature, for example, during an edit references workflow. As shown in the video, you can simply replace a single chain seed reference edge with a new one to regenerate the feature based on a new surface loop-based chain. Creo 9 increases usability through modernized aligned chain selection workflows for the project and offset tools in SketchUp and makes referencing and usage of 3D geometry inside SketchUp.
Missing component retrieval now allows for renamed components to be used. If the selected component is actually a renamed original, then all child references and relations are automatically updated. Let's have a look at this assembly with a missing component, which is actually causing several failures throughout this assembly. If we retrieve the missing component, we see that everything is fixed, the component is replaced, and all is good. If we check the view changes of this assembly and dig a little bit deeper to where the part actually is, you'll see that the system actually recognizes it as a normal replace with a component with the same name. 